Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Paste Special is a tool that Excel provides to you that allows you to cut or copy information and then paste only certain elements of the original selection to a new location. For example, you could copy a formula from a cell and then select to paste its value or format only. You can also copy and paste values from cells and perform mathematical operations as you paste the values to new cell locations, adding, subtracting, or multiplying them with the values that already existed in the destination cells. By default in Excel, information is exclusive to individual spreadsheets. This means that if you copy data from one worksheet and paste it into another worksheet, any changes that you make to the original data would not automatically be reflected in the workbook to which you had pasted a copy. Paste Special fixes this as well by allowing you to paste a link between the two cells so that when the original data is changed in the first worksheet, the new value will be passed to the linked cell in the second worksheet the next time it is opened. Using this feature also allows you to paste linked data between two completely separate workbooks. To use the Paste Special function, you begin by copying a cell as usual. Then select the destination cell. Now, however, instead of simply clicking the Paste button on the standard toolbar, you will instead select Edit Paste Special from the menu bar to launch the Paste Special dialog box. You may also right click on the cell into which you wish to paste and then choose Paste Special from the pop-up command. In the Paste Special dialog box, you select the option button that represents what to paste from the original cell selection in the Paste section at the top of the dialog box. So once we've made our selection and brought up the Paste Special dialog box, up at the top we get to choose what we would like to paste. Note that if you select the Values option, you can then select a mathematical operation from the Operation section to perform with the value that you are pasting and the value that currently exists in the cell to which you are pasting. To then paste your data, just click OK. In the 2003 version, after copying a cell's value, you can then click on the small drop-down arrow to the right of the Paste button to access some of the most commonly selected menu options from the Paste Special dialog box to paste. So we could choose Formulas, Values, Links, or you can choose the Paste Special command to also invoke the Paste Special dialog box. So here we could choose Values, and I could choose to add this value the 11,893 to the existing value in this cell, 17,380. And then I could click Add. When you invoke the Paste Special dialog box, you have several options as to what elements of the copied cells you wish to paste. So let's take a moment to examine what options are available when using the Paste Special dialog box. In the Paste section at the top of the dialog box, you can choose All to paste everything that you copied. This is the same thing as simply choosing Paste from the standard toolbar or the menu bar. You can choose Formulas to paste the formula only, but this is also the default behavior of a formula when you normally copy and paste, so it's also rare to choose this option. Selecting Values copies the current values displayed in the cell or cells that you copied, and this is useful for copying and pasting the displayed values from formula cells. Also, you sometimes want to paste the value of one cell that you copied onto the value displayed in another cell, performing a selected mathematical operation between the two values. So if you select the Values option, and select a destination cell into which to paste the copied value that has a pre-existing value in it, you can then select a mathematical operation to perform with the two values from the operation section. You can choose none to overwrite the destination cell's value with the copied value, or you could select add, subtract, 
multiply, or divide to perform those calculations with the two values as well. Back in the paste section at the top, you can also select to paste formats of the copied cells. This pastes only the formatting of the copied cells and will perform the same function that the Format Painter button performs. You can select Comments to copy cell comments from one cell to a new cell. You can select Validation to copy cell validation rules from one cell to another cell. If you select All Except Borders, you will paste all of the copied cell contents and formatting except for the borders. If you select Column Widths, you can then paste the copied cell's column width onto the selected cell's column. In Excel 2003, you can also select Formulas and Number Formats to paste only the cell formulas and the number formatting. Or you can also select Values and Number Formats to paste only the cell values with the number formatting to the destination cells. You can check the Skip Blanks checkbox at the bottom to not replace cell data in the destination cells where there were blank values in the copied cells. Checking the Transpose checkbox will switch the data in the columns to data that will now display across the rows and vice versa. Once again, after selecting your options, you would click OK to paste the copied data elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.